That's right. We are right here at Sharp Facets Gallery. It is 4.07 in the afternoon. And let me tell you this, I have a treat for you here today. I have Italy Partridge. She is a career development service team leader over there at Goodwill Industries. And she is based right here in Greenwood now. I met her, met you what, back in when you had your grand opening? It was December the 7th. That's right. So I uh, met you then, met a lot of people there that evening. And of course, not only do you have the store, but you have a job service there. And that's a, that's a unique combination, Italy. It is. It's a unique combination because normally, um, if you are somewhat familiar with Goodwill, um, normally we have a store and a job connection and that's about it. And here in Greenwood we have our store, we have our job connection, and also we're offering training programs. So it's our third office like this for Goodwill. We are over uh, 16 counties in South Carolina, and only uh, three cities you know, have a facility like ours here in Greenwood. So yes. we're pretty excited. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now those that are listening may, may be saying, now that is not an American accent. Where are you from, Italy? I am from uh, El Salvador. El Salvador, mm -hmm. that's right, down in Central America. There. That's correct. That's right, <laughs> all right, we had a geography lesson this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you end up here? Uh, through family friends, and um, my father lives in California, so uh, I applied for the job at Goodwill and gather courage and moved to South Carolina, and, and I've been with Goodwill for two years already. Now you told me you had some friends or family friends for, that live in Hodges. Yeah, Hodges, correct. That's a, that's a pretty far connection, California, El Salvador, Hodges. Hodges. <laughs> I know. And now homeopath. And now homeopath, that's yeah. right. And you were telling me earlier in the uh, afternoon when we were talking that uh, you've actually bought a home in homeopath. I did. Uh, that's, that's pretty neat. It is, it is. It's, it's a big responsibility right. being a homeowner, but um, I felt that it was, it was a step that I, I had to do. Now, when you were growing up in El Salvador, you did grow up in El Salvador, correct? Okay. correct? Correct. So, um, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to, well, I uh, had an, um, I have an, un an uncle that um, he has a pharmacy, so I, I wanted to be a pharmacist. Okay, so from being a little girl, you wanted to be a pharmacist. Yes, I, I mean, my, my first option was to be a doctor, but okay. I discovered that I'm not very uh, good when someone is bleeding, so I decided <laughs> not to go that way. <laughs> so, Probably a good thing. Yes, I, I discovered that through a very, uh, well, not so pleasant accident at my home. Oh. So uh, I discovered that, so I said no. Being a doctor is out of the question, so I have to find something that's close to that. So, my uncle uh, has a pharmacy, and I used to help him uh, be there, and, and that's how I discovered, well, this is something I probably would like to do. Now, here's what's interesting, though. Mm -hmm. When you were in high school, right, they did these assessment tests and told you right. the type of things you might be good at, and mm -hmm. what did it say? It said um, pharmacy, it said also engineer, and it said also medicine to study doc to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. So you were very pleased when it said pharmacist. I was. I was. I was very very pleased. I was not pleased for my friend because she wanted to be a pharmacist too, and she didn't get that, so she was not happy <laughs> that day. <laughs> so um, you went to pharmacy school. I did. I graduated mm -hmm. in pharmacy school in That's El Salvador. Correct, yes. But um, to be a pharmacist here, you'd have to go back to school, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. I will have to go there full time and, and stop what I'm doing and, and dedicate myself to going back full time. Mm -hmm. any, any idea that you might do that? Uh, not right now. Not I'm, right now? I'm very happy working for Goodwill. I, uh, I'm very happy helping people through services and, and I, feel, I feel happy right now. It might be a goal, uh, but a long-term goal. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see how everything hands out for me, but right now I'm, I'm very happy working for Goodwill. Now, one of the things that you told me you did when you were living in El Salvador, you used to teach English. Yes, I used to teach uh, on the weekends to get, you know, extra money for university, mm -hmm. and I used to work, there is a language academy in El Salvador that's called, and I'm going to speak Spanish here, okay. um, so people please do not get scared, Spanish, <laughs> um, it's, um, it's called Academia Europea. 
Okay. So they teach, you know, English, they teach French, German, different languages there. So I used to be a weekend teacher there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do any of that here? Do you help with teaching? I do. We're going to have ESL classes mm -hmm. for people at the Job Connection. We're trying to do that uh, with the people from Adult Ed. We're trying to do it when the school starts here to try to have a sense of order when we when we do that, maybe us taking basics and then taking intermediate and advanced. And so that's in the works for oh. us in Goodwill, yeah. Absolutely. Well that's great. All right. Well, you know, I, I wanna know how how coming from El Salvador and now working at Goodwill, how that how that comes together for you. Does that uh, does it give you a sense of accomplishment? What does it do for you? It does. It gives me a sense of accomplishment, but also it gives me a sense to help uh, the Spanish population too, in in South Carolina. Um, I feel how big, a, how big a population do we have right here in Greenwood? I think you. Uh, when I last read the percentages, I think it's, it was like probably around a four or five percent population that mm -hmm. you have. Um, of course, you know the majority of people here. Uh, it's you know, American, mm -hmm. um, we, but you do have like Hispanic population here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what else have you come to feel working with Goodwill? Um, the fact that we do really strive for people to be independent. Uh, we try to give them the tools to uh, be able to um, feel empowered when they do their job search. Mm -hmm. We also try to provide them the tools to training programs in our job connection services. Mm -hmm. for them to feel comfortable um, when they're doing job search. Um, a lot of things here are changing in regards to our job market and people now have to probably 80% of the time apply online. Right. And um, a lot of people take for granted that everybody you know, has a computer and that's not the case. Or everybody is able to um, navigate through the websites and, and find an application and that's not the case. So um, through Goodwill, we also have discovered that that, that, that we have to be um, an extra tool for people to be able to um, apply for jobs and, and, and have them be empowered and feel comfortable with the new technology too. Because uh, before, um, people used to walk into an employer and get an application and, and yeah. they could fill it out there and, and they could turn it in and right now the process is a little bit different. Well, you know, I think it's interesting because Goodwill, normally when we think of Goodwill, we just think of places where you can drop off anything from clothing to uh, electronics, all that kind of stuff. And I think it's very interesting that Goodwill, the philosophy is that they use the money that they have from the stores to help people find a job and become independent. I think it's a terrific concept. I think it's one that the U.S. government ought to look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, we actually, you know, and every dollar that we send, uh, that we sell through our stores, we put back uh, 92 cents of that dollar. That's pretty amazing. To our job connection services and training programs. Goodwill, um, all the job connections, and we have uh, 17 job connections already. Um, all the job connections are sustained by the money that we get through the revenue that we get through the stores. Um, so course, when you make a donation to Goodwill, you're helping job connection. Correct. Yes. You're helping job connection and you're helping training programs in a part as well. Sure. Another part for training programs is, you know, of course, our grants when we apply for grants. But uh, the bulk of services, you know, which is the job connections with 17 locations, um, are sustained by you know, the donations that the public make to us. So that's why we want to encourage people, you know, to, to really donate to us and and feel sure that the money that they are donating, because every donation, even if it's a clothes item or furniture, it's money that sure. they're donating to us. So it will stay in South Carolina, which Absolutely. is important. Mm -hmm. Now, just out of curiosity, when somebody donates something here in Greenwood, is it sold here in Greenwood or does it go to a different store? How do you all work that? No, we have a, a process center here too. I mean, our store, the front part is just a sales floor and right. in the back, you know, it's where we process all the goods that they donate to us. So they stay here in Greenwood? Mm -hmm. They do. So that's another option. I mean, another good thing is that those dollars are staying, coming from Greenwood, staying here in Greenwood. Correct, yes. Yeah. We try to make an impact in the local economy, which is important for us. Absolutely. Well, you certainly have built a beautiful building there, 
and it is busy all the time. Uh, just the front, just the, mm -hmm. the selling part. Because anytime you go by, mm -hmm. open Saturday, Sunday, Monday through Friday, there I tell you, <laughs> there are cars there. All right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a beautiful building. Hey, I am here with Italy Partridge. We are going to hear a quick word from our sponsors when we come back. We're going to be talking more about what Goodwill does and how Goodwill brings goodwill to people. Hey, we'll be right back. Don't you go away. All right, we're back here at Sharp Facets Calorie. We are talking with Italy Partridge. She is the Career Development Services Team Leader. Short title. It is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Makes you tired. Right, exactly. I know. I know. <laughs> she is originally from El Salvador. We talked a little bit about her background, but now we really want to talk a lot about what Goodwill does. I was looking over some of the stats here, and it says you've placed 948 individuals back to employment and they provide assistance to 6,351 South Carolina Carolinians through Goodwill's Job Connection. Wow. Yes, those were my numbers when yes. I was an employment specialist. Okay. Just in my office. In oh, Green just Coast. you yes. in your office. That yes. was your personal numbers. Yeah, those are my personal numbers. So every time she did one, she wrote, one. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep a count. You have to keep a count. But, uh, yeah, those were my numbers. I used to be the employment specialist at our main office in Greenville. Mm -hmm. So, um, in total, uh, for the last year, we serve um, 38,000 individuals, and we place uh, 7,872 individuals back to work wow. through our 17 job connections and training programs. How long have they been doing this? Goodwill. Goodwill. Oh, Goodwill. I mean, they have been doing it for quite a while. Um, because really, in the 70s. In yes. the 70s? Yeah, but they started to have the uh, job connection part was started, I think, with about four or five offices. Mm -hmm. And in a matter of probably three years, we have grown to 17 offices, about probably four or five years, grown to 17 offices, mm -hmm. which is pretty amazing if you see it. Um, well, because you know, normally what I always thought of Goodwill was, oh, a place you could donate stuff and go mm -hmm. buy, go buy and get good deals. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people see Goodwill as the the thrift shop, right, or the thrift store, and and we we do more than that. You know, we have a job connections mm -hmm. where we uh, help people to find employment. Um, we have our training programs mm -hmm. where we provide a little bit more in-depth skills for our participants. Um, and we have our training centers where we provide workshops and um, different services for job seekers. And the important part, and I think that everybody's going to like these, they're free. Free? Yes, they're free. We, we, won't, we don't charge. We don't have a fee for any kind of use. We have computers. Yeah, but connections. this one here in Greenwood, I, I can't remember. How many computers do you have set up where people can sit down and do job searches oh, and resumes and all that kind of stuff? We have 16 computers. I was just going to say 16, 18. Yeah. yeah, 16 computers, and then we have also uh, computers for people at the training programs as well. Mm -hmm. And now, if somebody wants to use the service, what do they have to do? If they want to be part of the job connection service, which is job search and resume assistance and also providing job leads, they have to go to our location in Greenwood, if that's the closest one that they have. Another location that we have close by, maybe for some people who live in the Clinton area, will be the Lawrence Job Connection. But if someone wants to go there, uh, they have to open a profile to get registered with us. And while they do that, you know, it will give us a chance to look at their employment history, look at their skills that they have, get a sense of what jobs they're looking for, and also know a little bit more if they're facing other barriers besides being unemployed. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they are dealing with a disability. Maybe they need to continue their education and get a JD. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they don't have the work is. The work is a little, it's very in fashion right now. Right. <laughs> Here in South Carolina. I'm pretty sure that you have heard about it. And um, it gives us a chance to, to really get to know the job seeker. Um, they uh, will finish the profile. They will sit down with employment specialists. Every job connection has an employment specialist. And they will have an intake, which mm -hmm. is where we uh, make note of all the things that they fill out in the profile. We will get them registered. And from that intake, we will know, OK, what do we have to do with them? Is it a matter of them just uh, getting job leads and, and direct referral for not, from us to employers? Or is it a matter of us working on resumes for them uh, referring them to our training programs, referring them to workshops to better their soft skills. Mm -hmm. um, and after that, they will continue working with employment specialists. 
our services are self-paced. Uh, we, we're not gonna be pushing the job seeker to say, hey, you gotta come tomorrow and you gotta come the next day because we want also for them to be accountable. Um, I believe in, in Goodwill believes that if a job seeker is accountable during their job search, they will be accountable when they find a job. Sure. And it creates that culture. And, and you know accountability is a big part when you, when you have a job. Absolutely. So we want to start developing that since they walk into it, or the moment that they walk into a job connection. Sure. Mm -hmm. So um, so this is really a, uh, can be, if the participant wants it to be, can be a start to finish program for Oh you. yes, definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have people that we call intensive, which is the individuals that they come in, they get registered, we work on resumes, uh, we provide job leads, we provide job referrals. We provide information for job fairs, they come to our job fairs, they go to our computer workshops, they work in our resume workshops, and we also have people that are just, you know, basic services, that they probably are with someone and they maybe just want to browse through our job leads and, and, and they might not necessarily want to get registered. But our goal is to provide that intensive service for everybody. Um, that way they can take full advantage of all the services that we have. Now, how many people work up in just the, the job services part? How many people work here in Greenwood? We have an employment specialist at the mm -hmm. Job Connection. So normally that is the dynamic in the Job Connection. We have one employment specialist per office. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you work out of this office? And then I work out of this office um, mm -hmm. because we have also our training programs here. Mm -hmm. We have a Job Connection and the Training Center. So um, I work out of this office um, because it is... Uh, closer to the area that I'm supervising, because I'm supervising, you know, the Greenwood location, Lawrence location. Maybe it's not that close to Anderson on Seneca, <laughs> but the bulk of my responsibilities is in Greenwood. <laughs> they told you Seneca was close, right? Goodwill yes, told you that. Yeah. that. Uh, it's very <laughs> close. Just drive up the road, Italy. <laughs> yes. <no. laughs> oh well. But um, well, that has to be very interesting for you. And how many people have been placed since they vote? They opened up in December. So how many people have placed just out of Greenwood? Uh, we have placed uh, 37 individuals currently um, through the Job Connection, and we have placed already um, our class of CNA. Uh, well, you were there, right? Uh, yeah, during I think were you there during your graduation? I yeah, think you were, right? right? Mm -hmm. So um, we have uh, we had a class of eight graduates, and we have already six of them working. That's so true. yeah, it's it's really good. Um, and now you partner with different people. In fact, the CNA program is partnered through uh, Piedmont Tech, correct? Piedmont Tech, correct. Piedmont Tech has been really, really gracious to us in regards to collaborating with us, as well as adult ed. And they've been, I would say, fantastic because there's not another word that I can use for that um, in regards to collaborating with us. Um, and that uh, Piedmont Tech collaborates in the training program part. Sure. Um, and, and I guess when we come back after we hear uh, South Carolina news, we're going to be talking about some of the different programs that are available. They're going to be having a job fair already. Mm -hmm. I yes. tell you what. <laughs> now, and of course, I know a lot of employers are sitting out there wondering how how this can how the job connection can help them. So mm -hmm. you've got to have listings in order to be able to do this too. Correct. Uh, we also serve employers, and that's part of what we were, like you said, we we're going to talk. Um, later about that too and what kind of services we provide to employers as well. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that, uh, that'll be something that I know a lot of people are going to be really interested in. There's lots to go on, there's lots to talk about here. I am sitting here with Italy Partridge. She is the Career Development Services Team Lead and she works right out of Greenwood here so I certainly hope you are going to stay right with us and of course uh, if you've got a question, all you have to do is pick up that phone, 229-7984. That's 229-7984. We are going to hear South Carolina news, a word from our sponsors, and you know, we'll be right back. Don't you go away. Um, are you a pirate or a pack rat? Do you have a vacation of a lifetime sitting in the attic? Or a college tuition hung on a wall? Or is a fabulous retirement hidden in your jewelry box? Bring those items to Sharp Facets Gallery. We can establish value and buy from you or sell for you. 
and so ends another chapter at Sharp Facets Gallery. 72 Bypass and on the web, sharpfacets.com. All right, we're back here at Sharp Facets Gallery. I am Ann Eller. I'm here with Italy Partridge. She is from Goodwill Job Connection. Hey, you may have been up there to Goodwill. You may have bought some good items up there. Who knows? You may have donated some good items. But did you know that they have a job connection right there? And if you want to uh, improve yourself, improve your family, you might ought to check it out right there. If you're unemployed and need a job, you might go up there and check it out. You know, um, how do you work with South Carolina's un uh, employment agencies? How do you work with those? Um, SC Works in Greenwood has been uh, really, really nice to us. Uh, they have opened their doors to us. Um, they're working uh, close to us in regards to allowing us to have access to their uh, job leads and also referrals. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are very careful in regards to the people that we refer to those jobs because, again, we want to match them with the skills that they're ne are needed for the job. Sure. And um, that's another option that our job seekers have, you know, um, besides Goodwill's job leads, too. Sure. At the job connection, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, so you work together with them. You work with Piedmont Tech, your CNA program. Now, you are going to have some workshops coming up. What kind of workshops are coming up? We have uh, workshops through the Job Connection, and remember that um, when we start talking, I talked to you about the fact that we have a training center here in, uh, in Greenwood. And in our training center, we have a monthly uh, calendar of events, which covers all the uh, workshops. In March, we are going to have two computer workshops. We're going to have two resume workshops. We are going to have an interview skills workshop. We're going to have also an understanding your credit report workshop, which is important nowadays. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to have uh, quick checks for the Benefit Bank, okay. which a lot of people don't know what's the what's Benefit that? Bank. The what's Benefit Bank allows people in uh, South Carolina to find out if they will qualify for benefits, such benefits. as, you know, food stamps, um, Medicaid, uh, financial aid, federal financial aid, if you're a student and want to continue to further your education. Um, also, um, energy assistance, temporary financial assistance. So the first time that they want to do a quick check, you know, will take five minutes, mm -hmm. and it will let us know which programs you probably will be a good idea for us to go ahead and complete an application. Okay. And then we will schedule a second appointment, and the second appointment probably is going to be forty-five minutes, because we're working again on applications. Right. And we will complete the application in that second appointment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, so there, there's a there's a bank that helps out on this. I like the idea. Yes, yeah. the benefit bank. <laughs> the benefit bank. They yeah. are. Um, they're in South Carolina and a couple of other states, and um, we have two dates for that. Um, at the job connection is going to be in March the 12th and March 26th. What time of the day are they? The first one, the 12th, is going to be 1:30 to 4, okay. and then the 26th is going to be 9 to 11:30. Uh, until 11:30. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, so there's that type of program. Then you mentioned you were going to have some computer programs or computer yeah, workshops. Computer, now, computer workshops. Now, what exactly are those? Computer workshops. Well, we are trying to help people that do not have uh, basic skills in a computer. If they have a little bit more advanced skills, we can also help. Our workshop is um, we try to do a little bit interactive mm -hmm. with um, videos and also. Um, Practicing too. It's not someone just lecturing you in regards to what you need to do to, op you know, to feel comfortable with the mouse or what you need to do to open a document in Word. You know, you're actually going to do it. So right. yeah, they're very active and interactive. And we're going to have now. What one. about are these for? I guess maybe for older people. Uh, not really. Not necessarily. Okay. Uh, we have our workshops open from uh, to the public in general. Right. And also for the job connection, job connection is open to a public in general. There's no requirement to go there. Right. Um, important thing, the job connection, if you want to go to a job connection and, and, and be uh, registered and, and start doing your job search, you can go Monday to Thursdays, 9 to 12, and 1 to 5. For the workshops, um, like I mentioned before, they're open to the public, and we can get people that are um, mothers maybe going back to the workforce, mm -hmm. senior citizens that want to learn computer skills, um, teenagers that are 17 that want to start, you know, um, working on those soft skills to start doing their job search. 
So it, again, we don't have a requirement in regards sure. to, to the population that we serve. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, when you talk about soft skills, what exactly are you talking about? We're talking about um, dependability. We're talking about how to correctly interview, how to conduct yourself in the workplace, business etiquette. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking about interview skills again. We're talking about uh, how to manage your job search, how to effectively do a job search to actually have specific jobs that you're targeting. Sure. And not just, you know, put out your resume for everything that you want because um, you have the the reason that you're putting out a resume is because you want to get a response from a job. Sure. So we, we talk about that also in our uh, soft skills workshops as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just the shotgun approach to, to go f to look for a job, meaning just putting it out everywhere. It's trying to be targeted so you will get a response. Yeah, we, we want people to really be prepared. Um, if someone goes to a job connection for the first time and they don't have a resume, uh, more than likely our employment specialist is going to say, we need to work on a resume. Mm -hmm. um, this is a work, uh, we have a worksheet that they can complete. Mm -hmm. um, if they feel more comfortable going home and, and, you know, taking a couple of hours to fill it out, they can do that, they can come back um, with their employment history and, and we will help them uh, set up a resume for themselves. Sure. And. The, on, the other thing is that if you don't have a computer at home, you know, where to print out your resume, or you don't have paper, or resume paper, you know resume paper is really expensive. So if you don't have resume paper, and, and you need resume paper to so take you can't interview. Just, you just can't put it on regular old paper? Yeah, we have regular <laughs> old paper but right. for presentation. You, you know, it's going to look better in, a res in resume paper. So sure. they can go to our office, and we can print out resumes for them in resume paper, and it's free wow. as well. So. Um, whatever we can do to help people, you know, go back to, to work is what we're trying to do. Um, if someone, you know, doesn't know how to interview, we have workshops for that. They can go and, and we will um, talk to them and we will do mock interviews. We mm -hmm. will give them tips. If someone, again, you know, doesn't have the computer skills, we have the computer workshops. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's a full service program right it here is. in Greenwood. It is. We wanted to make it that way because we wanted uh, for the Greenwood community to know that Goodwill is serious about being in, Green, in Greenwood, and we, we want to stay here for a long time. And, and if you see the facility that we have, it's, it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, yes. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> amazing, absolutely. Well, one of the things that I did notice is it looks like you are going to have a re you already do the certified nursing assistant, CNA, mm -hmm. but you're going to start doing retail training? Yes. I mean, uh, Wow, I must just fall over and die to have retail <laughs> training right here in Greenwood. Yes. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> it is. It is pretty awesome. We have, I know that you've briefly mentioned the CNA class, which is a certified nursing assistant class. We already graduate a class. Mm -hmm. um, we are uh, with a second class currently. They graduate in, um, I think, March 29. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start with a third class. So in April, we're going to have three classes that have graduated. Um, so we're pretty, pretty happy about it. And just to briefly uh, talk about it, if there's someone interested in being a certified nursing assistant, and they uh, have to go to our informationals. We have our informationals every Friday morning at 9 o'clock. And general requirements, if you're asking yourself, what do I need to be considered for the program? Mm -hmm. um, you have to be 18 years old or older. You have to have a high school diploma or GED. You have to be able to pass a drug test. Um, you have to be able to pass a background check, and, and right now for the CNA, we're asking for a clean background because of the area where they're going to be working. Sure. And um, they are going to take a basic education assessment, mm -hmm. um, not to be afraid of that. Again, it's basic education assessment. And they will talk to our case manager on Fridays uh, to express to her you know, their personal interest in the program. Well, I know for a lot of people, starting out as a CNA mm -hmm. is the start to getting and uh, then going on to an LPN or an RN. A lot of people start there and work their way yeah, up. It's ahead. a great way to be able to work and make money mm -hmm. as soon as you are finished with it. You, yes. Most people get employed, so it's a good opportunity. It is, and, and if you are uh, maybe someone that is thinking about going and being an RN, you know, uh, you can take this first and... Uh, work on the weekends and start practicing those skills. Sure. And again, our training programs are free. And then we have a retail training program that starts in April. 
and they are going to do an on-the-job uh, training portion at our Goodwill store. Mm -hmm. um, they you mean they'll get to work in the store? Correct. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, they will get, I like it. Yeah, they will get their workies. All of the participants in our training programs, they will get their workies. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot too, mm -hmm. because nowadays, you know, everybody's pushing workies a lot. Workies meaning experience? Uh, workies is a certificate that employers um, oh, okay. are asking for and they grade your skills in regards to math, locating information, um, to see how maybe you're going to perform mm -hmm. on the job. On the job, sure. Yes, so um, they will get that certification. Um, they will get, in the case of the CNA, the certification for, to be a certified uh, nursing assistant and they will get also uh, serve safe certification and the serve safe it's going to let the employer know that they're hiring someone that knows how to properly handle food items sure, so, which is important absolutely and then in retail they will get their retail certification and they will get their workies as well and if someone is asking well I don't have the GED and, and or I don't have the high school diploma where there's no requirement for the high school diploma or GED for the retail part I was going to say because mm -hmm. you've got a lot of uh, teenagers mm -hmm. that work in retail so this probably would be an excellent way for them to see see whether they want to work in retail correct correct uh, yes. not everybody does yeah <laughs> it's kind of tough folks hey I'm Ann Eller right here with Italy Partridge we are going to hear a quick word from our sponsors and we'll be right back oh that's right we're right back here at sharp facets gallery on the 72 bypass I have Italy Partridge with the goodwill with the job connection here today and, you know, one of the things that far as services that you have available, a lot of people don't realize for a lot of jobs today, you've got to be able to pass a, like a SLED background test. Correct. Or yeah. screening. It's, it's, yeah, the SLED is the um, South Carolina Law Enforcement background result. Right. And we have them available at Job Connection. Um, normally, if you do it yourself uh, through a credit card, you know, through their website, it will be $25. Mm -hmm. But um, we have them at the Job Connection for $15, and we give them three copies. Right. And we keep a copy for 30 days um, sure. because it's only good for 30 days. And Because um, something could happen in that 30 days. Correct. Yeah. And, <laughs> and we have um, that uh, service also at the Job Connection. Sure. Mm -hmm. So that's another good one, and that's uh, $10 that you can save by yeah. doing that. So. A lot of employers use that when they want to hire someone. Sure. So uh, they can send that person to our location in Greenwood or Lawrence and, and we'll be glad to, to provide that service. Absolutely. So we have that available and then sometimes you have special uh, speakers coming in and Tricia Craven, who used to be out there at Piedmont Tech, many people may remember Tricia out yes. there. I understand she's getting ready to do a workshop. Yes, um, she um, and this is in conjunct conjunction of what I'm going to mention. Uh, just bear with me for a minute. Uh, it's just, um, we also, um, I mentioned to you that we have the training center at our location in Greenwood. Mm -hmm. So we have also two training rooms that we want to also use as community rooms for nonprofits in the area or community based organizations that uh, we have here in Greenwood. Mm -hmm. So if they want or if they need a room um, to maybe have a training uh, session or a meeting. Um, they can contact me um, at my office at, um, there in Greenwood and um, I can see if we have availability for the day that they want to use it and it's free. Oh. Yeah, good. so uh, that's how we met Trisha. Okay. Uh, she w she's working there with a company here in Greenwood. She's doing some uh, leadership development uh, training. So um, she's really nice. I mean, you know her. Right. She's a very warm person, and, and she said, absolutely, I want to collaborate with Goodwill. And she's been kind enough to donate an hour of her time mm -hmm. um, the first Monday in April okay. to do a workshop for free. For free. And yes. what will that workshop actually be on? Um, this workshop is going to be about success. You know, um, it's important to uh, know the choices that we have while we're doing our job search or through our professional life mm -hmm. and how to effectively uh, be able to uh, make those choices that are going to lead to success in mm -hmm. our life. Sure. So um, she is going to be talking about that, um, talking about day-to-day -day choices that we have to make in the workplace, 
how to have them work to our advantage. Mm -hmm. um, and we we're hoping that people, you know, really take advantage of this opportunity. Sure. She's really good. Um, you know her. She yeah, has absolutely. a really, really strong background here in the Greenwood area, and, and she's working with a lot of employers in the area. So it's fantastic that she's taking an hour of her time to to talk to people for free. Absolutely, and that's going to be Monday, April 1st, so that's mm -hmm. April Fool's Day. Anybody yes. think about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's and going to be, yes, and, and it's going to be in the morning. Okay. Um, probably Do you know what time? Or? Yeah, we're, uh, I'm thinking about probably... Um, 10 to 11 or 9 to 10 9 between to 10. those hours, yes. But they can call the Job Connection yes, and just find number. out. Now, what is the number over the there? The number for the Job Connection is 864-330-1482. Mm -hmm. uh, 1482. And they can also call my office. It's 330-1299. Uh, Okay, mm -hmm. so you can get an exact time on that, but uh, do pencil that in on your calendar for April 1st mm -hmm. on uh, that morning. Monday. And that Monday, that's going to be pretty cool. Now, but you've got also a multi-employer job fair coming up. You guys are not we sitting do. on your hands, are no, you? No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> we, have to, about that. we have to put people here in Greenwood back to work, so we, we cannot do that. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a multi-employer job fair um, March 22nd. And um, it started, it's really funny because it started as a um, healthcare job fair, mm -hmm. but now it's become a multi-employer job fair. We are going to be, uh, probably have uh, around eight employers mm -hmm. and a couple of agencies providing information about their services. And we're going to uh, be working with employers that are going to be looking for um, people in the healthcare area we're going to be taking applications for certified nursing assistants mm -hmm. um, for also caregivers or resident assistants too we're going to be also taking applications and, and resumes for nurses mm -hmm. um, also for people that are in the uh, human services field we're going to um, taking applicate be taking applications for case workers and also chaplains so chaplains it, yes Yes. How about that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> and um, then also we're going to have uh, the general labor and construction part. We're going to be taking in, um, applications for general laborers and con construction workers as well. Wow. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Yeah. A lot going, going on over be, there. Yeah. It's going to start um, at 10.30 okay. and it's going to go all the way to 12.30. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and that will actually be right there at the job job. Connection. Yes, it's going to be um, at the job connection, which is, um, you're going to see the building. Sure, yeah. It's obvious it says Goodwill, but it's next to Aldi's. Right. And we encourage people to come with a resume mm -hmm. and dress, you know, prepare for an interview as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And anybody can come to this. Yes, this is open to the public. It's not, uh, you don't already have to be a client of the job connection. Um, if you want to go ahead and get registered and talk to our employment specialist because she's the one that has been able to do the networking with employers mm -hmm. along with the job connection in Lawrence. Right. So people in the Lawrence area, Clinton area, Newberry are also welcome. Um, they can go ahead and get registered at the job connection and skip that process Sure. during the job fair and probably go ahead and talk to employers directly because they already registered to a job connection. That's mm -hmm. terrific. Well, you know, this has been one fast hour, but one thing we can say for sure, the Job Connection good through Goodwill really is doing a lot of good. I think we ought to reiterate one more time. Every time you donate something to Goodwill, how much of what you, se what you sell it for stays right here with them? If we sell a dollar, we put back uh, 92 cents of that dollar back to our Job Connection services. So if you think about it, 8 cents are not used for Job Connection services, and um, helping people in, in South Carolina and again those eight cents that do not go through the job connection services go to pay people that work here in South Carolina so Absolutely. I mean it's, it's it's pretty amazing what Goodwill is doing. It is pretty mm -hmm. amazing I think that's phenomenal well if you would like to call them 330-1482 and um, Italy if somebody wanted to call you what would be the number to call you? Uh, my number is 330-1299 330-1299. You know, um, and you said you had a Facebook location, a Facebook page also? Yes. Our website is www.goodwillsc, like South Carolina, .org, and you will see the link to our Facebook page, and we post information about different job fairs, recruitment events that we have going through our 
17 locations now. Wow, mm -hmm. that is tremendous. It is amazing. And of course, they, they are truly committed to helping you find a job. If you know somebody that could benefit by getting some help, whether it's needing a resume, needing some skills on how to interview, refer them over there to the Job Connection. It'll do them good. Yes, so we hope to see everybody that wants to get assistance finding a job, work on resumes, uh, be part of our training programs. Um, just remember the only thing that you have to do is visit us if you want to visit the Job Connection Monday to Thursdays, 9 to 12 and 1 to 5. If you want to know about our training programs, it's going to be on a Friday at 9 o'clock. Absolutely. Easy. Easy. Mm -hmm. Italy, it's been a pleasure to sit down and talk with you today. Well, thank you. I appreciate you having us. And, and, and we would just want to say from goodwill to the Greenwood community that we're so happy to be here. And we are really grateful in the way that they have opened your doors to us and, and supporting our mission services. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is WCRS right here in Greenwood. We'll have the podcast for that tomorrow and the video in just a day, maybe two. But hey, check it out right there on WCRS1450AM.net. That's going to do it for me. I'll be back in the morning. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for coming to see us, Italy. Thank you, and, and um, thank you so much. You make me feel like home. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All righty. Bye-bye, everybody.